What is going on my friends? Welcome to Navarre Pier here in Florida. It is the longest pier in the Gulf of Mexico. And today I thought it'd be super fun to lower a GoPro in the water under the pier and just see what comes along, what's going on down there. I also have some dead fish with me that I'm gonna lower down and we'll see what comes along to eat the dead fish and just, I don't know, see what goes on underneath a massive pier like this. All right, I'm gonna start close and work my way out to the deeper water. So as you can see, the water was pretty clear, but this is actually not a very clear day by Florida Panhandle standards, even though most places in the ocean this would be incredible. Uh, this is actually a little dirty <laughs> for the Gulf of Mexico, but you see right away around uh, the Stangents got some redfish swimming around, and then a giant mullet there. That is a huge mullet. Normally mullet are just little uh, fingerling bait fish, but that one has avoided predators its whole life and has grown to be huge. But it's interesting how the redfish just keep like circling uh, the Stangent there. They stayed really close to it, and uh, I ended up moving the camera closer because I could see them down there. Look how huge that mullet is. That dude's massive. Check out that redfish that has a scar on its lip. I'm guessing it got hooked before, but either was released or it got away. And uh, you can see a pin, that looks like a pinfish to me, just chilling with him, which is also crazy. Great big pinfish. I guess he's so big, he, it, he doesn't uh, fear getting eaten. Same thing with the giant mullet there. He doesn't fear getting eaten either. And there's a snapper, a couple of snappers. Hanging out. So you got a nice variety of fish there, shallow. And then I ended up dropping the camera down in the mid depth range, but there was just nothing there. So that was interesting that right close to shore, there were quite a few fish. And then I had to go out quite a bit deeper before I saw anything else interesting. Just basically pinfish in that mid depth range on this day. You see the little croakers around there, filter sand, filter feeding through the sand, I guess. That was kind of cool. And uh, a turtle. A green sea turtle for the first time on this channel and uh, was exploring around this stanget and then he kind of gets curious about the camera and swims over and checks it out. <laughs> Not sure if he was like biting it, maybe biting the GoPro case because he kind of went around behind it. Not sure what he did there, but he definitely checked out the camera. And then I brought it out to the very end of the pier. Check out how deep it is. Probably, this is probably, I don't know, maybe 20, 25, 30 feet deep. It's kind of hard to tell. But this is at the very end of the pier. Longest pier in the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, this is where things started to get a little more interesting. Got some mangrove snapper swimming around there. And some, I don't know what those other snapper are there. If somebody could enlighten me, that would be great. But that's a mangrove straight straight in front there. A very, very good eating fish. And then a puffer fish comes to check things out. Seems like he's just swimming by, but he comes back. He's checking it out. So cool how the little eyes rotate around. I want one of those for my aquarium. And in the meantime, I decided to implement part two of my plan. All right, my friends, it's time to get out some ladyfish that I have saved from previous fishing trips. <sighs> All right, gonna put a big old piece on. Let's see what happens. Ladyfish are considered a trash fish in Florida. Very oily, very bloody, very bony too. So it's just kind of hard for, uh, for people to eat them. But fish, absolutely love them for all the reasons I just stated. And pretty soon a little feeding frenzy started around the camera. You see some remora in there. Those are always so wild looking. If you, if you don't know what a remora is, that is the fish that sticks to sharks and stingrays and stuff. Um, but they do also just swim around randomly in the ocean. They don't always have a host uh, that they follow around. And uh, they are loving the ladyfish and the snappers start to get on it. The cigar minnows there. We've got everything congregating around. And in a second, you'll see the dolphins congregating around. And check it out, a little file fish in the mix. He's getting his little pound of flesh from it with that tiny, tiny little mouth. I actually caught a 
file fish by sheer chance one time when I was younger, but they are incredibly hard to catch. You need a little micro hook for them because they just, they don't have a mouth. And uh, you can see him trying to get in there. Just, if I remember correctly, they have tiny little chomper teeth, just tiny little teeth. He can take off little chunks of the fish there. But the feeding frenzy started to heat up and attract the attention of some dolphins here. So watch this. Dolphin incoming. He's checking out the bait, but it already has something in its mouth. I do not know what it is. Watch it in slow motion. It definitely has its mouth open and there's something in there. Maybe it's another fish or a crab or something. Didn't get a real good look at it, but uh, it takes note of where the fish is and uh, lets the uh, remora and stuff there uh, have at it for a little while, but it'll circle back around in just a second. In the meantime, I was hanging out on the pier with a subscriber. Is that a pompano? Oh, oh nice. Is that a... Looks good. <laughs> nice catch. Guys, this is a... You want to be on a YouTube video? Uh, guys, this is Franklin. While I have my lines down there, he's just fishing. Wait, is that a... That's not a pompano. That's a... I don't know what that is, man. It looks weird. <laughs> yeah, kind of like a jack, but it doesn't look like... It's not... Its head looks weird. Yeah, head, head does look weird. Looks good to eat. Yeah, dude, I don't know what that is, honestly. Huh. That's cool, though. First fish of the day. First fish of the day, nice. <laughs> Sweet. Cool, this is fun. I like hanging out here with all the fishermen. And I've got my lines down there and I'm just, I just wonder what's going on. So the feeding was intensifying. More remora were gathering around. They're more savage than they look. To me, they look like kind of a cool aquarium fish, kind of strange looking. But man, when they want, when they want a piece of cup bait, they are absolutely getting after it. They, I don't think they have teeth or anything either. They're just, they're going at that with like a little, uh, they, they have a little ridge in their mouth, but that's it. And then the dolphin comes over to break up the party and grabs the bait. And they're all having a good time with it. And the dolphin's like, excuse me, I'll take that. And swims off. And this is what it looked like from the pier. What the? I think I had a big shark on. Look at that, look at that creature right there. I think I was just on my line. He, uh, oh, he's, he's out of sight, it's really hard to see him. He's laying on the bottom. There's a big creature down there of some sort. Oh, didn't even, just grabbed it, didn't even taste the hook. The hook's still on and everything. Might have been a dolphin. May have been a dolphin, yeah. You can always tell when a dolphin grabs your line instead of a shark because they grab it without grabbing the hook. Yeah, I see you. A shark just eats the whole thing and then cuts your line with its teeth, but a dolphin uh, tears the bait away. This was a fun experiment, though, and I definitely have to do this again. If you guys want to check out more underwater videos, click on those. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one.